Yeah. Welcome to our analytical chemistry laboratory. Here we take TYBSC analytical instruments. Here I will be demonstrating to you the three prominent experiments. The number one is spectrophotometer. That is spectrophotometer, as you know, it works on the principle of Beer Lambert's law. Beer's law states that absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of absorbing species. Lambert's law says that the absorbance is directly proportional to the thickness of the medium. Together it is called Beer Lambert's law. A is equal to epsilon BC. A is absorbance. Epsilon is molar extension coefficient. B is the path length. C is the concentration. Beer Lambert's law is applicable only for dilute solutions. The nature of the graph is straight line passing through origin. You will see if the solution is concentrated, the graph, the straight line bends upward as well as downward. That is a positive deviation and negative deviation. Here this is the spectrophotometer, a LICO. You can see the model and we are using the sense 2003-2004 with the grace of creator of the universe it is in an excellent condition. Now I will let you know how to calibrate the spectrophotometer. First of all put the power on put the instrument on you can see back side there is on off switch and we have put it on you can see now I will slide open the sample compartment. Here you will see there are two sample ports. This is, I am taking out from my finger. This is the quartz cuvette. Remember, it is very costly. Its cost is 15,000. So students, be very careful while handling this. And this knob you can see, this is the Kuwait position control. You can see I, if I am pressing inside and my Kuwait in the first port I will be putting the this part. You can see this is not the transparent opaque part and this is the transparent part. So I am putting the opaque part of the Kuwait in the first sample compartment and here you can see it is facing the light now yes now what I will be doing I will be rotating it this is called sliding filter control I will be rotating it and be putting at 1 I will be closing the sample compartment. I will be putting the person T. I will be keeping the fine and control at its maximum. I will be adjusting with this 0% adjustment. You can see. Moment it is at zero, it has not to be disturbed throughout the experiment. Now what I will be doing? I will be opening the sample compartment. I will be rotating this, the filter sliding control at number three. You can see it is at three. With the help of this, you can see with this knob, I will be adjusting at 540 nanometer. You can see it is at 540 nanometer. You can also see that sliding control which we have kept at 3 
it is the range of 395 to 600 nanometer so in that range which is lambda max that is 540 nanometer is covered do you know dear students what is lambda max lambda max is the wavelength at which absorbance is maximum now i will taking this cuvette position control outside you can see in the second cuvette we are having the blank one molar sulfuric acid and the shining part will be facing towards the light i will be putting the cuvette like this you can see very easy i'll close the sample compartment now i will adjust the course to bring it at closer to 100% transmittance then finally we'll adjust with the fine at 100% transmittance which will be nothing but 0% absorbance if transmittance is 100% the absorbance will be automatically zero and vice versa you can see yes now i'll be using the fine to adjust it it's a 100 now if i press this absorbance it will be zero see now the instrument is calibrated it is ready for taking the reading of our samples in this experiment we are going to determine the percentage of the amount of chromium plus 6 in the water sample for that what we do we take potassium dichromate here i will take your the balance this is the potassium dichromate over here 2.83 grams 0.283 gram we will be weighing remember 0.283 gram will be weighing first of all we will put a this balance on it's a zero i'll putting the watch glass i'll making it zero i'll going 0.283 gram yes can you see 0.283 gram i'll be taking it out i'll be dissolving in 100 cm cube of water this will water make it 100 cm cube and this will be 1000 ppm from here i'll take 1 cm cube <coughs> 1 ml and dilute it to 100 cm cube now 1000 ppm will become 10 ppm from 10 ppm solution will be taken 2 ml 4 ml 6 ml 8 ml 10 ml and then we'll be adding in this one molar sulfuric acid 10 10 cm cube in each 
and then we'll be putting DPC to two centimeter cube in each. Zero point two five percent DPC diphenyl carboxide, and then we'll be diluting to hundred centimeter cube with distilled water. You can see as the concentration is increasing, the color intensity is also increasing. Unknown sample will be given to us. This unknown sample will be diluted to 100 centimeter cube. We'll be taking out 10 centimeter cube from here. That is unknown. And in this, we'll be putting 10 centimeter cube of one molar sulfuric acid as usual. And in that, we'll be putting DPC diphenyl carboxide, 2 centimeter cube, which is 0 0.25 percent, and diluting to 100. Now, we will be taking the readings. How you will take the readings? We will shake off. We will open all. This is the dropper we will be taking. From here, we will open. The sample compartment will take out the cuvette, will throw the water from here, or we can use the second cuvette. Here, I am taking first of all 2 ml air hydrated, now it has become 0 0.2 ppm, it has become 0 0.4 ppm, it has become 0 0.6 ppm, it has become 0 0.8 ppm, it has become 1 ppm concentration. Now, let us see how we will be doing. With the dropper, I will be doing, I will be rinsing. <coughs> I will be taking, can you see how much you have to take? Alright. You will wipe it out. And you will put inside the sample port. We will close it. We will get the reading. Now, second one, we'll take out, we'll throw it, you can rinse with the same solution, once throw, twice throw, thrice you throw, and then take in this. Take the reading. Now you can see the third one. I just like to do insert with the solution which we are going to use for finding out its absorbance. Put it in the sample pot. We got the reading. Take out, take the next. Now next one you are taking, you are supposed to put in the second cuvette port. Second sample port. Your first one is as it is with the opaque cuvette facing I will close this reading. Now the last one. You will rinse it. I have told you three times with the same solution. Don't worry. We are having lots of solution. Not to worry. Very little amount is only needed for finding out absorbance, wipe it out, yes, now we will take the absorbance of unknown solution. 
which is having chromium plus 6 that is the water sample will find out its amount by plotting a graph of absorbance against concentration. Yes, wipe it out. This is your un. Point two four six. Now we'll be plotting a graph of absorbance against the concentration in ppm from the. Absorbance of unknown, we will be finding out the concentration of unknown, we will be doing the calculation, we will be finding out the amount of chromium present in the water sample and then we will be calculating the percent error that will be done experimental value minus theoretical value divided by theoretical value multiplied by 100. Now I will show you the Readings, calculations, as well as job done by our student in the same lab. Wait just for a moment. <laughs> 